What's up guys? Welcome to the program. Welcome to Currency World. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We'll be delving into this box that I picked up in my attic. It's a currency of sorts. It's the currency of my childhood and many of your childhoods. And that is Pokemon cards. Now, as the title says, this may be a $30,000 attic find. So let's switch perspectives and check it out. All right, guys, so without further ado, this is what I pulled out of my attic. And as you can see, still has the dust on there. We have the cards from the movie from the 2000s, you guys might remember, and some commons in there. But we shall take a look at this album a different time. Right now we're gonna focus on this box. Open it up. Wow guys, this really, really brings back a lot of memories from my childhood. As you guys can see, I made this sort of makeshift box to hold all the cards. I think we have probably around, that's pretty deep, maybe 3,000 cards. Sounds about right, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Got some of the old packs here, old booster pack foils, you guys might remember these from your younger years. Wow, we've got some Digimon in here, oh, whoever watched that, these, these were definitely not cool, that's why uh, they're still in the box. We got Pikachu over here, one of the original plush dolls. We got the mandatory Pikachu keychain and uh, more of these. Oh wow, these look like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Without further ado, the main piece, the collection, the holographics. You see how messed up I use this a lot growing up. Probably collected Pokemon cards like many of you guys up to when I was nine or ten years old. Started probably in first grade so take a look at this album this is my pokemon holographic collections we've got some good stuff in here guys so stick around thanks for sticking around guys we are ready to take a look at the holographics collection boom if you'll excuse me i might botch some of these names it's been a while we're gonna take a closer look here we have mew ancient mew and this card was issued um, during the Pokemon 2000 movie. Wow, that is a cool card. Full holographic, as you can see. Next, we have the original Blastoise, one of my favorite. Next, we have the iconic Charizard. Wow, 100 damage. Everybody wanted this card growing up. These cards have actually gone up in value. I think you can pick these up for around $100 in good condition. All these basic set cards are um, relatively valuable. They have gone down a bit as the popularity of Pokemon has gone down. Next we have Venusaur, another one of the basic Pokemon that you would start out with in red or blue. Those of you from the 90s that remember. Next we have Mewtwo EX and Mewtwo from the original series, all in holographic of course. Next we have Raikou. This is a Pokemon from the newer movies, uh, one of the legendary dogs. This is a first edition card. Now you guys will note that the first edition cards are typically worth a little bit more than the regular issues. Next we have Togetic. You guys will remember from the series, uh, I think it was Misty that had the Togepi and this is the evolution of that. Next we have the next generation of Pokemon, Dark for Alligator. It's a cool looking card. We have Dark Typhlosion, a little bit of damage. I think I got this one in a trade. I would trade for these all the time when I was little. It was like an activity ripping off my friends, but we won't talk about that here. Next we have Magnium. This is from the generation after this one. We have Swampert, Reverse Hollow. Skizor, this was a cool card, metallic looking. Fortress, Dark Blastoise, Dark Charizard from the Team Rocket edition of the cards. This was a relatively early one. Zapdos, a crowd pleaser of course, 100 Thunderbolt. 
and this is from the original series as well, has the red. Now we have Bellasum, Asmeral. This is another first edition. Kingdra, these over. Most of these cards are in really good condition. We have Trainer Brock, he was in the original Pokemon series. We have Cool Porygon. Promo. If you'll remember, Pokemon released a lot of promos to promote a lot of their products. This was with the original Nintendo 64 Pokemon Coliseum Edition. I remember my dad getting this for me and I was super excited. It was a cool added little bonus. Scyther, Scyther again, the older version. Jolteon, Vaporeon, Dragonite, Blaine's Moltres. Now, Blaine was the Cinnabar Island um, gym leader, if you guys will remember. And we have Moltres right there. Next, we have Celebi First Edition. This is a very special card, and it's worth quite a bit of money even today. Celebi, you'll you'll see I have another one of these, which is worth even more than this one, but Celebi got its own movie, I think, in Pokemon. Ninetales, Polyrath, Hypnotop. You guys will see the little stickers here. I added those because I was so pissed I didn't get a holographic in my pack, so I made my own. I probably ruined the card, but it has a uh, special sentimental value for me. We have Articuno right here, Lapras, Dark Weezing, Muck, Rockets Hypnochamp, Energy. Again, you guys will see I tried to make my own holographic so that one doesn't count. Hoondoom, Kangaskhan, Gyarados, Alakazam, McChamp, it's a cool card, first edition. These were in the big boosters I think, so fairly common card, but still really iconic design from the original series. Ninetales, Brock's Radon, Misty's Tentacruel, Gym Series, Megaton, Sheninja, this is a newer card. Scyther again, Dark Dofan, Dofan, Hundor, Entei EX, Mewtwo EX, Schizor, Orion again, Venusaur, Dark Arbok, Haunter, First Edition, it's a cool card. Let you guys take a closer look. Right there, Brock again. We've got Venusaur, Dark Arbok from the Team Rocket series. Jigglypuff, Team Aqua. Uh, we have a Japanese Pichu, Taylo, Swallow rather. Sorry for the dim on this, guys. Volbolt, Skitty, Trainer. Got some good stuff coming up. Looks like Ditto, Victory Bell from the. Uh, jungle series looks like Kabutops, Polyrath from the original series, Slowbro, Hypno Lee, Jump Pluff, Bell Plume, Aerodactyl. This one popular, you see on the Japanese. The difference on the back of the card of the older Japanese, Nido King. Venusaur, Potion. An old damage ride shoe. These are worth decent money, not in this shape, but either way. Now, this is a special card. I was talking about it earlier. Shining Celebi. If we take a closer look, if I can get this to focus. It has three stars. It was a secret rare and very cool card. These are worth around a hundred dollars if i'm not mistaken and very very rare card very nice condition so happy to have that in my collection got another entei promo i think this one was from the movie there's a movie about entei and the unknown darkness energy rapidash Zangoose, we have relicam hypno chan ex pidgey auto Mount Moon Holographic. Another Entei right here. Claydol, Ralts, Slackoth, Heracross. It's a cool card. Ditto, Polyrath, Absol. Not sure how to pronounce this. Lally. Kabutops EX, cool card. Lastly, we have Suicune Blaziken. So there you are guys. That's my collection of holographics from my childhood. Now, I have had a few pickups 
since then so check out my next video on that i recently started buying holographics again to the dismay of everyone around me this whole collection including the box and the other album i showed you guys while it might not be thirty thousand dollars i do estimate that if i were to sell each of these cards individually it could be somewhere between um three thousand to five thousand dollars and I will let you guys take a look at some of the other cards and holographics I have in future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know it's something a little different for us here at Currency World, but this is indeed the currency of our childhood. Hey guys, let me know if you enjoyed it and let me know which card from your childhood is your favorite. Which Pokemon was your favorite growing up? Let me know in the comment section below, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.